Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video um, about sharpening the blade on the table saw. Um, probably not doing it the right way, but doing it the only way I can right now. So what I got is a piece of a baseboard trim. Um, planed it down a little bit here so that when it's sitting on the table, it's sitting at the right angle. Sitting at the right angle here for the blade when the tooth comes down it comes down nice and flat and square on the baseboard so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do this will be the third pass on it so far it's uh, 240 grit sandpaper I'll do one more pass with the 240 grit and then I'm going to do uh, another pass with 500 grit so yeah let's get to it so something I forgot to mention is that I'll be using this move it penetrating oil as lubricant on the sandpaper so that uh, uh, if I feel like it makes the sandpaper last longer so yeah so that's what I'm using as oil is move it okay so first thing I'll get some of this penetrating oil on the sandpaper and we'll get going. Okay, so first tooth. I've got it marked so I know where I am when I get back around. And last one. Okay, you can see we got rid of the 240 grit and now I've got the 500 on there. So oil it up and do our last pass. Okay, and starting back on the first tooth that I have marked. And there we go. That's it for the sharpening. Okay, so I'm going to get this blade guard back in and we'll do a cut. See how sharp it is now. Before it struggled cutting, uh, well, didn't really struggle, but it was not the best on cutting even just a regular spruce 2x4. So drop the blade down and we'll do a cut and see how that goes okay so we'll do a cut which we'll cut off about two inches see how it does Okay, well that was all right. It did better than it did before, so good enough for me. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at something else I built here yesterday. It's a little stereo unit for the garage. It's just a car head unit with a couple of four inch round speakers powered by an old computer power supply. So yeah, that works pretty good. Got 
12 volt power off of that. Can run a couple extra wires off of it if I want for 12 volt bench top power supply. So yeah, there it is. Okay, that was sharpening a table saw in the best way that I possibly can right now. Thanks for watching.